management of the cross river basin the development authority has condemned in strong terms the incessant trespassing into all the gazetted land in cross river and aquarium state respectively addressing new spend in calabar the director of public relations and communication dr jackson john expressed great dismay over the activities of trespassers and land encroachers. Oh, it's a pleasure meeting you, sir. I'm from the um, available rec um, release of uh, our medium I've seen. Talk about um, encroachment into um, the cross the Basin Development Authority land. Yeah. So, um, you said um, the, the land have been gazetted. I don't know um, the, re the level of relationship you have with um, the host community in terms of um, this land so that you can create the needed awareness towards this um, development? Well, I think we have a cordial relationship. The problem, perhaps, is that uh, over time there have been changes in policies. Okay. Uh, there was a time our, our river basin, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Federal Ministry of Water Resources, uh, were into agriculture. Okay. And uh, during that time we had acquired a number of lands and these properties were meant for agriculture. But with time, government changed its policies and uh, we had to do just water. You had the river basin being water projects and they did boreholes and all those stuff. But the fact remains that all the lands we acquired, we never gave them back. It was ours. It was fully gazetted. Everything was documented. So the idea of saying that maybe we just had the land and gave it did not arise. Those things were still the property of the federal government of Nigeria and uh, those lands were still in our custody. But you know one thing with land, though after time people want to go in, especially if you are not developing it. But when the Buhari administration came on board, the determination to feed Nigerians with agricultural products came up again. And so the river basins were told to go back to farm, horribly go back to farm. And if you can look around us, that has had a very wonderful impact. As we speak, the Minister of Water Resources is, is emphasizing and re-emphasizing for us to get lands, even the ones uh, which we did not acquire before. We are calling on communities to give us land now that we are ready to do the farming. And for, then for those we had acquired, we are going back to those lands to take position and start something. Uh, but it's unfortunate that some people are having pushed seriously into those lands. And we are now asking them, please, those lands were gazetted, they were in memorandum of understanding, they were all officially released to the cross river basin. We are now prepared to make use of it. Just like you buying a house for some time, you've not used the house. That does not qualify people to go in and take possession of it. Anytime you want to live in your house, you can take it back. So that's what we are calling on communities. If you have trespassed into Cross River Basin land, please, for your own good, it's time you leave it. Please, um, there's something we know about um, land use in Nigeria. Um, I don't know if it's actually conventional or uh, it's actually um, within the premise of the law that um, land acquired within a community, uh, there's actually a certain royalty paid to that community within a, a specified period of time. Mm -hmm. So it could be that um, within the period in which um, this land have lied fallow, mm -hmm. um, those things were not actually um, being done. Don't you think, look, uh, look at it from that perspective and how, if it is true, how do you intend to um, engage the, the community? Yes. In to, um, I want to start from where you say how do we in the intend to engage the community. In fact, let us start by saying that the lands we are trying to get back, we are not getting it back to the cross river basin as it were. It's getting it back and preparing the land and handing over to the people. So in other words, a win-win situation. What we are saying is that those lands that were given to us, some people have made use of it. Okay. It's time now for us to come back to this land because the original purpose was for agriculture. Government says we should go back to agri. We are not having problems with them. Yes, those lands were let fallow, but we are now ready to use it. We are calling on the community. We are not taking this land from you. I mean, nobody takes land from anybody. So it's still your community land. But we want to, we want to go back to that land 
do mechanization, go back to that land, bring the land to the to the to an acceptable standard in modern agriculture, and thereafter we allow it to that same community. So it's in a way we are not like taking it out of them. Is there any effort aside from the press release where you have actually interacted with the community one on one to present these situations to yes, them? Yes, yes. I think last week my managing director was physically present at uh, uh, at Urwa along the Victor Ata International Airport route. There is a very big expanse. My MD was there in person. The community themselves were the ones who came out and said, "Look." Illegal developers are coming in, so we try to chase them away. You come, do your work. So okay, you've, you've only one instance you have mentioned. No, okay, okay, there's another one in Srubio, local government area. And it's not as aggressive, the, the, the issue of coming to pick land is not as aggressive in Cross River as it is in Akwaibo. Okay. Uh, so, so, so for Akwaibo, we have stakeholders who say, no, we know how this thing started. Cross River Basin collected the land from us, they paid us compensation, so we are not ready to give it up. So they come to us and we are making effort. As I speak now, for this year's budget, we are moving into the field very, very soon. Okay, okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you, sir. Dr. Jackson, however, commended some of the communities who stood firm against land trespassers in their respective domain, stating that the policy trust of the President Muhammad Abwari agricultural intervention is community based. Hence, all the land so prepared will be handed back to the community for cultivation to provide food security and food sufficiency for all. This is Daniel Agbo reporting for Prime Time in Calabar.